Sometimes it is not about the trails you find or the trails you conquer, but sometimes the adventure you seek and the people you meet. I'm sure you all have heard of Colorado, and yet there is a reason why everyone is moving here, and I am fine with that. To me, it is just more people to meet, more adventures to go on, and more trails to discover. And this, my friends, is one of the reasons I love Colorado. But it is not just about the trails you ride that's listed in every site or every board you find before you enter Colorado Trail Systems, but the hidden trails, yet legal of course, and the hidden gems you find. For months I have been looking at this trail, but I do not want to post its name or location, yet alone if it even has a trail name. <laughs> But even to the Colorado natives, which I ride with, has never seen this trail before. And this is the reason why I love Colorado. Sure, we have thousands and thousands of miles of trails listed in every site, such as alltrails.com and Advenza Maps, I think, or Ride the Trail. But there's another hundreds of thousands of miles of trails in Colorado that's not even listed. And of course, they are legal, and I make sure of that. <laughs> but that is my mission, is to find these trails and conquer them and see what they are about, see what kind of spectacular views we have. So here's some of the footage of the hidden trail we found. Again, I do not want to list its location, you know, since a lot of people do not know about it. I hope you guys enjoy the scenery and the footage. Yo, what is up everybody? It's another day, a beautiful day for a ride, man. I've never been on this trail, and I'm pretty sure this is a street legal trail. Don't know, but it's my first time out here, and I have no idea where this goes. Very easy so far, but very scenic, man. This is pretty out here. So I just wanted to clarify that this trail is definitely OHV legal, despite it is not shown on any of the maps. I also wanted to add that this trail actually can go to a nice sized lake, so I'm definitely going to return and see if I can get to this lake, and who knows, there might be some fishing at this lake and better scenic views. This is pretty cool man, all the freaking trails. Come on, KLX. This thing is struggling to climb this hill, I think, on like third gear. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, what is awesome about this trail is that it is a straight climb up. Hills were much steeper than they looked. Yet, it is a very easy trail despite of the large rocks. However, I started having issues with the KLX. Certain parts I had to leave it in first since second gear did not want to climb this hill at all even hitting full throttle on second. Eventually, I would like to change my rear to a 48 sprocket to see if that helps with me not having to shift as much in these type of trails. This is freaking wild. That was cool. <laughs> I, I think I need to lower the gearing on this. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm giving it like a lot of gas on second gear, just not even going. Dude, this is crazy, man. All we need now is one of those little dip lines. Right? <laughs> so at the end of this climb leaves a very beautiful scenic view. Kind of gives you an idea how high we climbed. I'm going to end this video here though, since I do not want to make it too long, but this is definitely not the end of this trail. We ended up finding very steep rocky sections, which were fun to play in. And honestly, how I discovered my KLX 250 definitely needs a lower gear. <laughs> so go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button, and go ahead and stay tuned for part two.